Good afternoon, everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Cynthia Red of the Preachers.org. Well, today I had to do a reality check. Went to the food pantry, which I was in line, talked to a gentleman, a couple of gentlemen, and I shared my life story and the gentleman shared his interest there. So we all talked to each other, which was great. And in the food pantry, I learned one thing you got to get up early. <laughs> Especially if you one unit, one unit or one person household, you got to get up early because people be up and out, you know. So the gentleman was nice enough to let me go get my car and pull my car up, put my food in the bag. And then I looked, I said, man, uh, you know, because I have to eat, you know, I take meds and I got to eat, you know, and I want to be sick. So... I looked, I looked in my pockets, I said, well, this week I can't stretch this before, you know, I got to go to the pantry. And part of me, my insides, back on the crowd, like I want to bust out in the tears. But at the end of the day, thank God for the scripture that says, Jesus said, I won't be with y'all in the present, but you always have the poor. And there's such a thing here in the U.S. that people hate to admit to. We now have the working class, poor middle class, and the working class, poor in America, okay? And not only are people with on uh, stamps and things of that nature, but you got two income households or someone in the house that ain't pulling their in where well, you have to go to the pantry. So the pantry is really good for a one-person household like somebody like me. You get two choices of meat. Which like was something I would buy on the weekend. I'd probably buy two or three different choices of meat, some type of noodles or something, and then I would make my meal, so single woman's breakfast. Then I would do my, you know, and most of my stuff is like economy purchases, you know, where, and then like when I first started, I could do that expensive stuff, you know, but now I'm like on a budget. So, and now when you go to the store, last week I got lucky, I got a, a package of, uh, I think ribeye cut pork chops for like six ninety five, six ninety five. Then I got lucky and it got, gave me a discount for chicken at uh, Walmart. Okay, so imagine now when I cook my meat, it they la it lasts for days, and I mix it with different meals. I make different meals with my meat. Okay, so that's something I learned from my mama, cause she had six kids and she had my daddy. Okay, and then when she was single. She still had to do the same thing on her budget. You know, she work and then she look at her budget, then she go to the store, have school with her. Um, I never recall seeing her go to the food pantry, but I would see sometimes when we was by herself, she was struggling with us. But at the end of the day, she taught me how to make those meals, how to stretch food. You know, she taught me that. And I was 12 and a half years old when she died, but I remember that from El Nora. My dad taught me how to cook and how to, you know, not eat and still survive. But when you get sickly and you got to take heart medicine, different type of medicines require you to take some food, eat some type of food, or you got to, you know, take that high blood pressure medicine, things like that. Sometimes you have to eat with that food. And your body will tell you, hey, I need to eat. I'm, I'm going to shut down, you know. So you have to do that sometimes, Okay. Then other times we go through the time where we say, well, I can just go without some water right now. You know, because can't keep water, you drink it, I'm telling you, you'll be sick. So I have to buy the water and stuff. And it's expensive, you know. And so now that I'm looking at being a working class, just working class, you know, and income is less than what it was, you, you, you look at things and you say, okay, now how am I going to make it this week? I can make it off two different types of me, three different types of me, because it's just me in the house. See what I'm saying? And I was stretched when my brother was with me and I was in the mobile home. But I had more income, you know what I'm saying? So now it just means less income. He wasn't involved in my chemistry, it's me. Okay? So now I'm really feeling a pinch, you know, you go to the store and you almost want to break in the chairs and cry. You know what I'm saying? Because it's ridiculous. And you make too much to ask for food stamps because they're not going to give them to you. I'll tell you right now. So now you'd be like, okay, hmm, I got to eat. I got to figure it out. You know? So you go to the food pantry and you feel good about it. 
you know. So there is one option for single people. Because it was a single guy in front of me, and we just kept on talking. We got talking about the Lord, how he felt and stuff. And it was wonderful because you meet other single people online, and, and all y'all going through something, and it's nice to talk about. Have a good day.